All right, so today um, I'm going to be showing you a really cool video, um, but it's not actually going to be one of mine. My video is going to be over on Card Shuffler's channel, so you guys can click the link here, go back to their channel, watch my performance if you guys want to, and then um, subscribe to their channel as well. They make really cool videos. So um, you guys will see what I'm talking about. I'm going to have one of their videos play um, right now. Anyways, guys, you can check out their video. If you like it, go ahead and subscribe to them as well. Um, anyways, guys, here it is. Hey, what's up, guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here. First of all, thank you so much to Hester for allowing us to perform a trick on his channel. He will be performing a trick back on our channel as well, Card Shuffler 99. Now, the last time we actually did a collab with Hester, uh, we only had around 15, 20,000 subscribers. And now we are actually nearing in on 75,000 subscribers. So we've come a pretty long way and we were pretty ecstatic when Hester agreed to do another collab. We, you know, we kind of want to keep our channels connected. Uh, you know, we want to maintain a friendly relationship between our channels. So uh, we were really happy when he agreed to do another collab with us. Uh, today we are actually going to be showing you guys a version of Matt Franco's Out of This World, okay? So let's get straight into the performance and then we will give you guys the tutorial. So... Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start out by shuffling the deck of cards. So I'm going to take the deck here, and I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick shuffle. So we'll go ahead there. Robert, is that a fair shuffle to you? Yeah. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the deck, and I'm going to take out one random black card. Let's go with the eight of clubs. And I'm also going to take out one random red card. In this case, we'll go with the nine of hearts okay robert yep so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hand you the deck right. okay and what i want you to do is basically you're going to use your intuition so you gotta pick that up for me and i want you to take the top card off now i want you to use your intuition if you think this card is black direct it to the black side if you think this card is red direct it to the red side go ahead through about half the deck and then please stop for me so go ahead use your intuition now this is a pretty difficult task you know i'm sure a lot of people would argue that if anybody got around half the deck correct that would be pretty uh psychic i guess you could say yeah so go ahead about half the deck and then stop for me it's about half all right perfect we'll go ahead we'll square that up and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to switch it up we're going to make it a little bit harder and i'm going to switch up the black and the red now i want you to direct all the red cards to this side and all the black cards to that side go ahead finish the entire deck for me there robert and once you're done please let me know and we'll get straight into the trick All right, perfect. Now, Robert, I've got to ask you, how well do you think you did here? Um, I don't know. I'm not feeling too no? worried about this. I mean, no. All right, well, here, let's take a look. Now, theoretically, because we did switch the reds and the blacks, you should have half the red cards and half the black cards in each pile, okay? Yeah. Now, they should all be together, so let's take a look at how you did here with the first packet. So if we give it a quick spread, you can see here we have all the black cards. All the red cards. So you did a really good job there, Robert. Wow, you can wow. see you got hundred. You got a perfect score right there. Now let's take a look at the other packet. You can see here we have all the black cards, all the red cards. Now, Robert, you do notice there is yeah. one discrepancy here. You do actually have the four diamonds out of place here in the black pile. But I would say that's pretty good. Yeah. You got all the other cards correct. Now, you notice we did have the box here the entire time. If we go into the box, I actually did make a prediction. And you'll see here, if I take the prediction out, it says that you will mess up the four of diamonds. And you can see here, the four of diamonds is the card that you did mess up. That is the trick, guys. And let's get straight into the tutorial. All right, guys. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So this trick can kind of be interpreted many different ways. So you can do this one of many ways and you can honestly make up your own version of this now i'll kind of explain all the little versions of this what i did was i used one deck and i made the spectator basically mess up one card and that card is going to be predicted uh you could do that you can make uh the spectator be 100 percent perfect no mess ups nothing like that that could also be your trick or if you wanted to you could actually do this with two different decks have two different people doing it and have them mess up the same card. And it's all going to be using the same concept, okay? So so generally, you're going to be doing the same thing, uh, but I'm going to basically explain, explain what I did in the performance, uh, but you can kind of get a sense of what's going to happen. It would be the same exact thing if you did it any of the other ways, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to start out by separating 13 black cards, 13 red cards. Now, you don't want just 13 clubs or 13 spades. You want them mixed up. 
13 black and 13 red. Now, in this case, I'm predicting the four of diamonds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna find the four of diamonds, and I'm going to take this four of diamonds and put it somewhere into the middle of any black pile. It doesn't matter which one I put it in. In this case, I put it right here, okay? Now, what this is going to do is it's going to allow the four of diamonds to end up in a black pile at the end of the trick. Now, if you wanted to do this with two decks and have two different spectators mess up the same card without a prediction, then you could do the same thing just with both decks, set them up the same exact way. Have the same four diamonds anywhere in the black pile. It doesn't matter where you put it. And at the end of the trick, they will actually mess up the same exact card. So that's kind of a cool effect there as well. Now, if you want them to be 100% perfect and use that as your trick with no mess ups or anything, then just don't put the, any card in the opposite pile. Okay, just keep 13, 13, 13, 13. In this case, we will be predicting the four diamonds, so I put the four diamonds in the black pile. And that's all you have to do. So from here, all I'm going to do is basically, it doesn't matter how you order this, I can just go black, red, black, red. You could do red, black, red, black, doesn't matter. Um, and that's how you're gonna start the trick. So you can start with this in your box, it doesn't matter. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out by shuffling the deck of cards. Now I say I do this because what I'm actually doing is not exactly shuffling the deck, but I'm actually setting the deck up. So what this is going to do is to all the world, it's going to look like you're doing a normal riffle shuffle. But what's actually happening with this setup here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, uh, without them looking, obviously, you're going to say, I'm going to shuffle the deck. You're going to go through, you're going to go up to the red cards, okay? So up till here, I have red cards here, red cards here. That's exactly half the deck. And what you're going to do here is you're going to say that you're going to shuffle the, the pack. And what you're actually doing here is as you shuffle it, all the black cards are going to get shuffled together and then all the red cards are going to get shuffled together. So what this is doing is it's basically separating the reds and the blacks into two separate piles. So I'll go ahead and push this in. I'll show you guys one more time. So you can see here we have all the red cards and all the black cards. Now you notice if you don't get a perfect riffle shuffle, you might have some mistakes. So you notice in the performance what I do is I say I'm going to find one random red card and one random black card. What I'm actually doing is yes, I'm actually going to find a random black card and a random red card. But I'm actually also looking for mistakes. So you can see here, three hearts. That should not be in the black pile. It's in the black pile. So I'm going to take that out. And I can use this as my red card. And for black card, you can just find any black card. Now, you will have the four diamonds in the black pile. So make sure that stays there if you're going to use this effect of having one card mess up. Okay? So now that you're in this situation, what you're going to do is you're going to allow them to basically use their intuition and let them basically direct the cards to either side. And you're going to have them go about halfway through. It doesn't matter where they stop. So what's actually happening, you can see here, I'm actually setting down all the red cards. This is all that's happening. Just setting down the red cards. Nothing suspicious going on yet. And you have them stop about halfway. It doesn't matter where they stop. Let's say they stop there. Okay, and you can tell them to stop. And what you're going to do now is you're going to switch these up. Now, what this should allow is basically now you should have half red, half black in each pile in the event that they would actually get this correct. So this is actually going to allow this trick to work. So you can see there are the four diamonds going into the black pile, and that's exactly what you want. Okay. Once again, you will have this prediction in the box. So what you're going to do now is you can direct uh, this here, you can direct this here. And basically all you're going to do is you're going to reveal how well they did, okay? And the way you're going to do this is basically you're going to spread this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread this out and you will have all the reds and all the blacks. Now you will have that exception there. So you can point that out that they did get one wrong. And basically it's not exactly going to make sense if I spread this this way because obviously the cards were in opposite order. So you should have the red card should be on this side. So the way you make that happen is you're just going to spread it the opposite direction. And just like that, now the reds are going to be on this side and the blacks will be on this side. Now, yes, obviously this is the top card. This is the top card. They're both black, but I've never really had anybody pick up on that. So it will work. Trust me. You can say you were perfect here. You show them that the four diamonds did mess up and then you could reveal your prediction. So that is the entire trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, be sure to check out our channel, Card Shuffler 99 if you aren't already subscribed. Be sure to subscribe and check out Hester's performance on our channel. I promise it'll be a good trick on our channel as well. And anyway, that's it for us today, guys. This is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.